Do you hear that? Do you know what that is? That is the sound of pollination. So how can pollination have a sound? Well, it all comes down to what the bees are doing in order to get to the pollen. Certain types of plants don't keep their pollen on the outside of the anthers like you're used to seeing. Instead, the pollen is trapped within the anther. Maybe there are small slits that are openings in the anther, but it's going to take some extra work to get the pollen out. And that's where that buzzing sound comes in. Bees, like bumblebees, are looking for both nectar as food, but also the pollen. And they will work very hard to get that pollen. There's different bees that use this strategy, but bumblebees are probably the best known. They'll come to a plant and then they grab onto that plant and when they're holding it with their legs, they start to vibrate their wings, but not in a way that lets them take off. Just that produces a very strong vibration. And what that actually does is it releases the pollen that's inside that anther and the pollen comes out in a big puff. When that pollen comes out, it lands all over their bodies. And then the bees will groom themselves and collect all of that pollen and put it into little baskets that they have on their legs. You can see it in this picture here on the bee that's crawling around, those little yellow patches. Now, honeybees aren't able to do this. Scientists aren't sure why, but honeybees don't use this buzz pollination technique to, cut, to get to the pollen. Why this is so important is because there are so many of the food plants that we have that are only pollinated through these different types of wild bees that use buzz pollination. And it's things like tomatoes and peppers, potatoes, eggplants, cucumbers, squash, blueberries, cranberries. There's a whole long list that require this type of pollination that's either known as sonication or buzz pollination. So the next time you see a big patch of flowers with a lot of bumblebees, stop and listen. You're hearing pollination happening. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.